All right. Thanks for joining me. This is Jer from All In. You can give us a follow on Twitter. We are All In for NFT. And today I'm doing a video talking about NFL All Day Moments, in particular cheap moments. So we're talking $20 or less. I got four players for you. Might have named some of these in the past. We did a Twitter space about this and might have even been in a video before. I'm always looking for stuff to scoop off the floor. This is a podcast, or this is a uh, video for that. So it might have done this before, but we will see. Here's what we're starting with. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. First off the bat, we got Najee Harris. Now, Najee has three moments, as you can see. So I'm talking the $17 one, right? This is between or $20 or less, usually $4 to $20, $17. It's got, of course, the rookie year, but it doesn't have that one we all look for, the uh, all ADD, the all-day debut. However, this one is unique, $17. I want you to know. I uh, Yeah, 10,000 circulation. I wish they weren't doing it that high, but only 12% that need to be minted. So we're talking... Uh, what? I can't do my math, but over 85% that's already done. There's only 1,225 hidden in packs yet to be um, given out, 240 unavailable. Oh, maybe I've got that backward. So regardless, we're talking about 87% that's already owned. So they are there. We're not going to get a whole flood of Najee moments for this particular moment coming from September 19th. So most are out there. Here's the trick, though. Here's the thing I like. It's a reception. It's from week two. Guys, this is his first NFL TD ever. This is why moments are cool. I think it's going to... Eventually, people will understand. But it doesn't have that all-day debut badge. This is the guy's first touchdown in the league. First ever. Regardless of rushing. Regardless of receiving. It's his first touchdown. And as you can see, we got one right now for 16 as I'm making this, but most are definitely 17 uh, and up. So that's my first one I want to talk about. Next on the list, we've got Christian Kirk. As you can see, dude's only got one moment here. Pop her open. Now, he was a big-time college prospect. Love that. And yes, unavailable. So that means we've got about 50% yet to be minted of the 10,000 in circulation. But if you remember, he was a big time college prospect. Kind of got a bit buried there in Cliff Kingsbury's Arizona. Never really relied on him. Never really got the air raid like we were all expecting. The target pie was really narrow there. He kind of funneled a lot to DeAndre Hopkins. Didn't get his dues, I think. Now he's going to Jacksonville, or he's in Jacksonville, with Lawrence. He is now the number one guy on the depth chart. Only Marvin Jones there really behind him. I love LaVisca Chanel, as it's pronounced, but he's not a huge threat. Christian Kirk, number one on the depth chart. We're talking down to seven bucks. Only one is there for seven dollars. So I think it's a great deal. I hate the fact that 50% are yet to be minted, but I think his talent will win out, and he's taken a huge step up. Opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. He has so much more now in Jacksonville. Next one. Love this guy. DeAndre Swift. Base. Common. 10,000 K. Still 52% roughly that needs to be minted. See that? 52 or 5,200 unavailable. Now last week, cheapest one was 12 bucks. About six days ago. Now it's up to... 14, and as you can see, as I'm doing this, there's only one there. I already have a couple of these guys. Now, ooh, and I love this, right? 32, boom, <laughs> right off the bat. Like, I, I always try to get the numbers some way if I can. Uh, started last year, remember this? Jamal Williams was called the 1A by bite him in the kneecaps, Dan Campbell. I think that's gone, right? He is, Swift is the 1A, clearly. Yeah, Jamal Williams still there, but Swift outplayed him. Now, he got hurt last year. He only played 12 full games. And of the 12 games he played, the two prior to that injury game, so I'm not counting that injury game because 12 full games, the two prior to that injury game, he had over 100 rush yards. Now, 
all the games, minus the injury game, he only had one with less than five targets. Dude had 58% of all the games played. 58% of his full games had six targets or more. And now we've seen what he can do on the ground with two back-to-back 100-yard rushing games before he got hurt, and they're going to use him more. So he could be one of those rare birds, those running backs Not in a committee. I know Jamal's there, and I know they're going to use him, but I think he's going to clearly get more ground usage, and we already know he's got the uh, reception usage. My last one, Gabe Davis. Dude's got two, but of course this is the the cheap moments, the cheap seats as it were, so we're going to look at the ones below 20 bucks. Here's one for 10. Only 38% yet to be minted, so that's good. All-day debut badge. It's a common moment, and again, 10,000. Come on, all-day. Lower those circulations. But, like I say, 38% is certainly better than 50 yet to be minted. He is the dynasty darling right now after how he finished last year. Also remember, Bills, as of this moment in time, plus 650 to win the Super Bowl, that is the highest odds, or that's the lowest odds, I should say. They are favored to win the Super Bowl. So, obviously... Those that know more than I, the handicappers, think they're going to do well. They're going to score points. Heck, the last three years in a row. No, I'm sorry. The last two years in a row, they scored the third most points in the NFL. Nearly 30 points per game last year. I think it was 29.8, 29.6. Um, but tw- two years in a row, they were third in scoring. That just leads to more eyeballs, more, more people talking about it, and more chances for him in an offense that last year was one of the heaviest pass over expectations. The guy is only 22 years old as of this moment in time. He is cemented as their number two wide receiver there. And again, when we saw him last, that crazy loss to Kansas City where there was like 20-some points scored in the two minutes, guy had... 201 yards and four touchdowns. So, to recap, we have Gabe Davis, whom I'm liking. There's one as of this moment in time at $10. There's only two at 11 As of this moment in time, we talked about DeAndre Swift. There's only one at 14 right now. And Christian Kirk, one at $7. And we've got one Najee Harris at 16 Again, this is that interesting Najee that doesn't have anything other than See, down to 16. Uh, other than they have the rookie badge. But again, it's the guy's first touchdown ever. So, boom. There you go. All in, viewers. You are all. We are all in for NFT, and we did cheap all-day moments. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please retweet. And I got something for you on our Twitter account right now. It is pinned. We've got... A cool giveaway. Now, folks have asked, how in the world are we doing this? Uh, I did discover other companies out there right now are doing giveaways. So what we would do is take your name and uh, your Twitter name, your all-day handle, and all you got to do is follow our Twitter, then tag three people. Then reply to the question, where will Miles Sanders end up in fantasy points per game this year? If you remember, last year, dude was in the 40s. First two years in the league, he was in the 20s. So where do you think he's going to finish this year on a points per game basis in PPR? And then, of course, retweet using the hashtag all in for Sanders. You can win this moment. So again, check it out. It is pinned on our account, all in for NFT. Check it out. Spread the word. Thank you all so much.